Number 68. Solve the inequality. Give the answers in interval notation. v squared plus 8v plus 15 is greater than or equal to 0. Well, we could write this as an equal in equation right now. Okay. And then I can factor this. This would be 5 plus 3 is 8 and 5 times 3 is 15. All right. Now, if v plus 5 equals 0, then v would be negative 5. If v plus 3 equals 0, then v would be minus 3. All right, so we're coming up with negative 5 and negative 3 for v. All righty? So we have negative 5 comma 0 and negative 3 comma 0. Those are my two x-intercepts. All right? So we can graph those. It's 5 to the left and 3 to the left on my number line. Here's 1, 2, 3 to the left and 4, 5 to the left. So there's my two points, starting points. All right. Now let's find the uh, vertex. You have negative b over 2a, where b is 8. So you have the opposite of 8 is negative 8 over 2 times 1. a is 1, so 2 times 1 is 2. Negative 8 over 2 is negative 4. Now if we plug in 4 in here, let's write our equation down and put in a negative 4 in here. You have negative 4 is 16. 8 times negative 4 is negative 32 plus 15. Now that 16 minus 32 is negative 16. Negative 16 plus 15 is minus 1. So my vertex is a negative 4, negative 1. That's going to be for 1, 2, 3, 4 to the left, and down 1. We'll graph our point, and then we'll fill in our curve. All right? Going back to my original inequality here, what we want to know is when is f of v going to be greater than 0? When is f of v going to be greater than 0? When is it going to be positive? Well, v is pos f of v is positive up here, not down here. Down here, f of v is negative. So, uh, so this is positive. We get to say, okay, only use the red part here. All right? Now, tell me what uh, x is here. Well, it's numbers that are greater than minus 3 and less than negative 5. So v is less than negative 5, or v is greater than negative 3. Now, how do I write that with interval notation? Well, I start way out here at negative infinity, come up and actually grab the 5, okay, the negative 5. Then start over here. Since it's equal to negative 3, we, we get to grab the negative 3 and go to the right here. So there it is in interval notation.